EA Games. Challenge everything. You're listening to Crash FM, back to the U.S. for the... What's up, guys? You're listening to Striker on Crash FM. Just need a few minutes of your time to cover the rules of the burnout road. To succeed in burnout, you need to be winning races, but you're not going to win races unless you take risks. The big reward? That's easy. You earn boost. Using boost gives your vehicle a speed boost. And you can use Boost at any time to keep you in the heart of the action. Here's the lowdown. Risks can be taken anywhere in the burnout world. Take risks, you get reward. Get it? Near misses with other cars. Driving on the wrong side of the road. Drifting around corners. Tailgating your rivals. Escaping crashes. And so it goes on. You can even string these together to get two or more happening at the same time. Okay, so earning boost is one thing, but to win, you need to steal it. Battle with your competitors by rubbing, slamming, shunting, and grinding with them. You'll get a quick boost fix and you can use it immediately to mix things up. If you want to take a bigger risk, try taking down your competition. Takedowns are when you wipe out one of your rivals, and if you do it, you'll grow your boost and fill it. But if you get taken down, your boost bar gets taken down too. Okay, something new is Crash After Touch. If and when you crash, activate Impact Time. When you are in Impact Time, you can steer your wreck. How cool is that? Use Crash After Touch to gain After Touch takedowns or to help you get to the places other crashers can't reach. That was a public service announcement brought to you by Crash FM. What crazy mother thought this game up? Six rivals crashing through traffic packed streets, slamming each other to steal boost, trying to take down the rival racers to be first across the line. Dude, I salute you.